Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a villager separation device. So, the baby villagers get filtered down here, and then the adult villagers get brought to wherever you want. I just have them in this chamber over here. And then, you get the babies, they stay here until they're adults. Once they grow up, they get pushed in this water stream over here. So you can, let's say, you just want adults in a certain area. You don't want the children just want the adults this system will filter them out and in this video I'll be showing you how to make one so let's get on to the tutorial so for this build you will need 50 glass it doesn't matter it can be any stained colored glass it doesn't even need to be glass I just like to see the villagers uh, three blocks of any sort I picked here iron but you can have like stone bricks wooden planks, anything of that sort, 13 slabs of any type, I said five signs, but it can also be like pressure plates or something that stops water from flowing, that's basically it, signs in my opinion are the best option, but you can use whatever you want, and then two water buckets, you could use one if you want to go back and forth like twice to let's say a river and grab the water, because you need two water sources, but yeah, here's just two water buckets, so yeah, let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so guys, so we come down here, we place on one slab, then we place on three more slabs to the side, and then three more on the opposite side. So we have like a one block gap. Then we place one more slab down there. Then we come off here to one of the sides, and we place on glass six high. Because six blocks is the minimum distance that when you have a villager, let's say a villager is coming from your breeder, and they fall all the way down. Six blocks is the minimum blocks they need for the babies to get trapped on the bottom, but then for for the adults to like be transported to wherever you want. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Then we want to come off on each of these slabs three high on either side. And the reason is we need two by three blocks like this. And then we can come off on each side and have an extra two by two spacing. Then what we want is we want to come back in here and we want to place a slab right there. And then we want to come off three extra glass blocks on top. Then with our slabs, we want to come off one, two, three, four blocks. So like we have one block there and then a four extra blocks like so. Then we come off here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one scaffolding block there so we can place this, one, two, three. So it should like th look like this. Then we place on one regular block like so. And then two more like this. So we have that type of shape. And then we can go on inside. Place our signs in water. So we place on one sign there. One sign here. And one sign here. So this is so that the babies, they don't drown. And then we want to place one sign here. So we have sign, sign, sign. And then, then a sign up here. And then a sign across like this. So there's one, two, three, four, five signs. And we place on a water bucket like this, and another water bucket like this. Now I realized I said five signs in the chest, but you actually need six signs. I'll write that in on top so you guys know. But you place down a sign like this over here, and then the villagers, if I'm, let's say, I'm the villager, okay? Let's say I'm the villager, I'm standing over here. I'll get pushed into this chamber. So you have the sign here, okay? Now if we go out, I want to show you guys the, how this works. So let's say I get some villagers, just as a to show you it works. Let's say we put a bunch of villagers in the system. As you see, all the babies, they got trapped on the bottom over there. And all the adults, they got filtered over here. So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So now you can separate the children from their parents. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. And, yeah, like and subscribe. See you next time.